Hey fishing friend, JC here with Rad Railing Fishing. Today, I'm gonna to go over five or more reasons why I love the Ugly Stick GX2 Medium 6'6 rod. We're gonna do that right after this. Rad Railing. Let's just start off with some of the obvious things. Ugly Sticks, you guys, yeah, this is the GX2. They're just about indestructible. I mean, I, I could just about bend that thing all the way back around into a, a circle or an oval there, and it's not gonna break. So yeah, ugly sticks are tough fishing rods. The other thing about an ugly stick, you guys, is they come with great warranties. Listen, they're readily available. Well, that's three reasons right there. They're readily available at Walmart, right? You can just walk in there, buy an ugly stick. If something's wrong with it or it breaks or whatever, within three months, you can take it back to Walmart, exchange it, no questions asked, right? But beyond that, all you have to do is make sure you keep your receipt, take photographs of your rod, whatever it is that went wrong under normal use, send a photograph in of your receipt, email those things, and you'll get an ugly stick rod replacement for $9.95. Now that's a pretty good deal if the rod that broke actually can be repaired by you. You can get another GX2 rod or whatever ugly stick for $9.95. And I just say that because this particular rod right here, this plastic piece, this, this foam handle, actually came loose from the plastic underneath and it was sliding up here. I contacted Ugly Stick, sent in the pictures within a week, $9.95, yeah, including shipping. I got a brand new rod, and uh, then I took the rod where the foam piece was loose, and I re-glued it. So I got another rod for $9.95. Wasn't scamming anybody, guys. It was under warranty. They determined that the, they would replace the rod. It happened under normal use, right? So Ugly Stick has a great warranty. They're readily available. Okay, and uh, yeah, the replacement on them is really, really fast. Now, let me just tell you, I'm not sponsored by Ugly Stick, okay? I don't get paid. I'm just a guy that fishes four to six days a week out there because I have a growing YouTube channel, and I'll put some links in this video and also in the description area that claim videos, that claim videos that back my claim that these Ugly Sticks are great fishing rod. Yeah, I caught a lot of fish, and you can see that in those videos. So this model of GX2, it works fine for freshwater and for saltwater. Now I've caught some very, very big saltwater fish on this setup. The thing is, I was in open water fishing on the beach. I was catching like 20 pound snook on the Ugly Stick GX2 fishing rod. So you can handle big fish on this as long as you're not around a lot of tight structure, okay? Um, bass fishing, it's great for bass fishing. I use it mostly for inshore kayak fishing like in the intercoastal waterway in saltwater. I find that this six foot six medium action rod is excellent for kayak fishing. Um, there's something about the, the short handle here and, and this little handle here and just the, the way it's paired up with a 4,000 size spinning reel, the feel is just really, really nice. Now these are, these are light rods. Um, the guides on them are really, really good. I mean, I, I've had people comment on my YouTube channel like, you know, are you getting grooves on your ugly stick guides from your braided line? Like, are they, is it cutting grooves in the eyes? And I'm thinking, well, no, it's not. I mean, there's some type of metal inserts on there. It's not cutting grooves in the line. But yeah, these rods are solid, you guys. They are just raw. They're solid and they come with a great, great, great guarantee. But I love the size of the six foot six medium action rod for the kayak for several reasons. One is, if I happen to get like a tangle on the tip of my rod, the, on the tip of my rod, golly, I'm gonna knock everything over. On the tip of my rod, these things are easy to just spin around and they have enough backbone that you can just like grab them right here and you can let that reel just hang down there and then set it down in the front of the kayak and then get it untangled and then grab it and then just pull it back up here. So yeah, they're easy to handle inside of the kayak. And the other thing that I like about kayak fishing with these is that six foot six length. There's something about being able to just line drive, cast sidearm, because a kayak is really low to the water. You can just line drive your lures and your bait like underneath docks and mangroves, and you can do it um, very accurately. It, it's hard to explain, but I've tried to fish with longer rods out of the kayak, like a seven foot six 
ugly stick that I have, and it was just awkward. But the 6.6 six medium action works really good, and because the medium action is so flexible on the tip, you really you, you get that whipping action. That that tip bends back, and then when you cast it, it whips that lure. And I cast a 7 8 ounce mirror lure with no problem at all. And when I fish on the beach for snook, I was casting one ounce jigs out in the surf. So, you know, it's probably not rated for really, really big lures like that or heavy lures like that, but I'm finding that I don't have a problem fishing with those lures. That 7 8 ounce mirror lure will just, it, it will cast so accurately with this ugly stick. It's just, it, it's pretty astonishing how well and how accurate and how well this, this rod will handle uh, a heavy lure like that. So it's great for fishing out of the kayak and I also found that when I was fishing out of a flats boat where I was up off the water a couple of feet that the six foot six length for me, I mean I'm five foot six tall, the six foot six length for me was really good for doing like underhand casts. Like if there was something just like straight over you know, straight out adjacent to me or parallel adjacent to me like that. And um, I, I wanted to, to cast it straight over to the little left. I could get that underhand cast and shoot that lure close to the water because the rod is only 6'6 six, six long. If it was 7'6 long, the rod would have to be out on an angle and I wouldn't be able to get that thing right up close and just shoot it straight across from me because it would be more of an angle going out that way. So the six foot six length works really well in the kayak and you can get long distance casting with a six six medium action rod because of that flexibility in the tip. You have that extra, like when it bends back, that whipping action and it casts it out there. So not only is this a great, a great lure for a great lure, not only is it a great rod you guys for casting lures, but it's also an excellent rod for live bait fishing. I fish with this rod, they use shrimp and pinfish, um, fiddler crabs for sheep's head, uh, uh, pilchards, just all different types of live bait. And this rod works really good for casting live bait and for setting the hook on live bait as well. I use J hooks and I use circle hooks when I fish with this rod. So I have nothing but good things to say about the Ugly Stick GX2 medium six foot six long fishing rod. This thing is excellent, you guys. It is just absolutely excellent for fresh and salt water. No complaints here. And the price point is amazing. I mean, I think I paid less than $40 for this, like $39 at Walmart. And it comes with an outstanding guarantee. And like I said in the beginning of the video, these things are just like indestructible. I mean, unless you slam them in a car door or something, and even then they might not even break. I don't know. I've never done that with the Ugly Stick GX2. I have done it with some other Ugly Sticks that I had, but yeah, not with the Ugly Stick GX2. So you guys, I have done several different reviews on Ugly Stick rods. I own a big water Ugly Stick that I use for handling really big fish around structure. Um, yeah, you can check out my library of videos on that. I also did, I have, I don't know how many Ugly Stick rides I have, but I did a review of the different types of handles on the Ugly Stick. There's something about this shorter handle works better for the kayak fishing for me, working lures and topwater. When you have the longer handle, it just, it's hard to twitch topwater baits to walk the dog. Um, your forearm gets in the way. But when you have that shorter handle, it just seems to work better. So. Yeah, there's applications for short and long handles. So I did a review just showing the different handles on the different model ugly sticks that I have. So make sure you check out my library of videos on ugly stick rods. I'll actually link those in the description below. So you guys, there you go. They're easily accessible from Walmart. They come with a great guarantee. They have that ugly stick toughness, okay? They're great for fishing out of kayaks. They're great for fishing like bank fishing off of the beach. They, they work good for fishing from piers and docks as long as you're not fishing for really, really big fish. They're going to wreck you in the structure. I mean, fishing for whiting and trout, small redfish, pompano, stuff like that, you're fine. Most freshwater fish, I mean, at least in Florida, I'm in Florida, freshwater fish, this GX2 will work great for catching freshwater fish. Now, I keep this 
uh, spooled up with 15 pound test, test braid. I've got a 4,000 reel, but this rod is versatile. You can drop it down to a 2,500 size spinning reel. It'd be perfect for fresh water. I actually have a 2,500 size spinning reel that I switch out to do fresh water fishing with on the GX2. I have a, I have a 4,000 size reel on here and I use like anywhere from 25 to 40 pound to 60 pound test monofilament leaders when I'm fishing for fish out of my kayak. So yeah, these work great for fishing like in the beach area when you're fishing for big fish. They work great for fishing off of the shore as long as you're not fishing in really, really, really heavy structure for big fish. And they're great for kayak fishing and, and, and inshore, intercoastal waterway type fishing in salt water. You're fishing out of flats boats or other types of boats or kayaks. They work really well. I have nothing bad to say about these rods, you guys. They are excellent. They have done me well. Like I said, I own three of them, and uh, they are fish catching machines. So make sure that you check out the videos in the description area or linked up here, where I have some great, awesome, where I have some awesome fish catches going on with this setup. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I think I covered it all. Thanks for watching this video, and uh, get out there and go fishing, man. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Life is fun. Live it. See ya!